it's time to clean the rubber seals. I just did this one with like a little sputter from a phone repair kit. You just go in here and just get that clean and then once we're done we're gonna put some of that lubricant on there. But first of all we have to go through all the steps, opening this, opening that, to get to all the rubber things. So in, in theory, there should be Kelly somewhere helping me, but who knows where she went, it's just, it just vanished. Well, Kelly decided to brush her teeth. Mmm. I don't know if that's an approved method, I haven't seen that online, but, well, I did the first one with a sputter and she's doing that now, so, well, it'll be clean eventually. Okay, everything is lubed up, although, um, I do want to say there may have been the hint in the instructions to apply sparingly, and, um, I was told this bottle is supposed to last multiple years. Well, actually, or multiple attempts. Well, maybe I went a little bit overboard, but I know it hasn't been done in at least half a year. If that, who knows when it was last done with the previous owner, or well, previous previous owner, I guess, because the previous owner didn't actually drive it because the roof didn't work. But I'm. I'm fine with a little extra, it's most likely not going to hurt it. And uh, next up is looking up how long it needs to cure, if at all. And then next up is actually car wash, and see if it's actually waterproof or if it leaks. First test drive, this thing is in the back. Windows down, roof down, first proper drive, everything put together. So while Hadley is test driving, Mommy is test washing. And we are inspecting for leaks. And we're hoping not to find any. And uh, yeah. And we're gonna keep you posted how that goes. Well, we do have first leakage, um, not horrible, but it this triangle here, where it's around the mirror, it seems to be running along along the window, and then it comes in here, as you can see by the foam in there. Both sides. This one, not really, not much, but, but this one a bit more. I'll have to look into what exactly that is, um, what part needs to be more lubricated or positioned or whatever. I believe we have an EOS because it's dripping right here. And I actually think that is a standard problem. So I'm gonna have to take the trim off. It is right in there, that little coupler there. You just saw a drip. Yeah, I'm gonna have to address that. So we just did a first car wash. We have obviously a few little leaks. Um, the usual suspect on the EOS front A pillars. Um, I'm gonna have a look into that. We also now see all the little dings and scratches and things, but go further away and it doesn't look too horrible. The only really bad thing is the rear bumper. That's just not nice. We do have some clear coat peel too on the on the driver door, some scratches from somebody here, but all in all, mirrors painted, car washed, all put back together. Not a bad deal for what I paid for, and definitely still the cheapest deal in Germany, definitely. We just finished our first proper drive in it, top down two and a half hours one way, so five hours almost total, and everything was fine until 
on the way back we noticed we seem to be revving rather high and then we noticed wait a second we're not in fifth gear sixth gear no 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 we are in fourth instead of sixth gear and on the last mm, 15 kilometers i then had to change gears because of stop and go traffic a little bit and then i actually noticed oh boy i don't really have a choice and going between third and fourth gear didn't actually change the refs and then i realized it didn't want to even like get out of gear at times and when it was out of gear it didn't want to get back in gear so the last 10 kilometers were interesting because i had to stop a few times so then i had to look for a gear just hope there is one at some point and um yeah that is new i don't know if it's just linkage i don't know if it's the clutch um i don't know if it's the gearbox itself it doesn't make any funny noises it just doesn't want to go in gear so a little eos it's not as ready as we were hoping for it to be